I've invited two good friends of mine tonight. They are star brothers of the celebrated Raj Kapoor clan. The first was my co-star in two films, Kars, and before that, my little love in Mera Naam Joker. Despite the years gone by, this film has remained very special to me, as has my young hero. And then there's Rajiv Kapoor, Chimpu, the youngest and last bachelor of the Raj Kapoor Paribar. Am I allowed to call you Chintu Baba? Of course. You don't mind then, don't tell me later that I don't know this was an international TV, 53 countries watching millions. Watching. You're making me even more nervous <laughs> by saying that. Right. You're warned. <clears throat> but Chintu, you used to be so wacky when we were making Joker. Do you remember, you, we used to really have a great sense of humor. I used to make us laugh all the time. You're still wacky. Well, um, I don't know. I'm crazy. One matures in it by time. I have my moments. You have your moments, but yeah. do you remember what you used to do a lot? I remember you used to go up to, you once went up to an admiral at a premiere, sort of to shake his hand, and the moment he had extended his hand, you'd sort of, you know. No, that was mean. That was not wacky. That's mean. That's, that's, I probably at that age, you know, one does all these crazy things. But, but you used to be so mean to so many people, you used to pull their <laughs> legs. And the worst part was they never took offense because you had such an innocent face. My friends, uh, Till today, say that I, 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 I do these kind of things, but I don't mean any offense. I just do it just to, I don't know. No, but I mean, I hope <coughs> you haven't lost that, that little humor, because I remember we used to be doubled up with laughter when we used to see the, all, all these <laughs> crazy things. I've done crazy things all my life. I've done crazy But you things. still do them, because I well, hope sure I do. it's not successful marriage or growing no, up. No, no, no. Well, uh, <laughs> but you walked into a ready-made career. So to speak. You know, you didn't have to struggle, Chintu. You know, Simi, I'd like to put it <coughs> on record straight when people say I didn't have to struggle. I, I truly believe that the struggle is not for the initial period or the first film. The struggle is to last out for 24 years. That's true. It's, it's what you're going to be after that. I, I, I may agree with you that I had stardom on, on, on a platter in, in form of Bobby. Then after what? Then after the journey was, I mean, there was a lot of ups and downs. I fought. I was victorious at times, I failed at times, very often I failed. I failed a lot. I never lost hope. You've had a hugely long innings as a romantic <laughs> hero, you know, I mean, let's well, face yeah. it. So many people have come and gone while you've been there and you're still well, running around trees. Yes, I ran on a lot of trees, a lot of trees. <laughs> you could write a thesis on it. I, you said that somewhere, <laughs> didn't you? Yes, I did. But uh, the very fact that you have lasted for 20 four years or whatever it is, in a very uh, fickle industry. What do you attribute that to? I don't know, really, Simi. I, I think, uh, like I said, I never let uh, uh, failure bog me down. <coughs> I failed a lot, but Where then I fought failed? like a... Well, when you have a checkered career over a period of time, I had my ups and downs, so I was also like, you know, a ping pong ball, you know, up and down, up and down, in an era which was predominantly dominated by action heroes. <clears throat> and I was none of it. But I was the only odd guy out who was working in romantic social films. And I truly believe my ability to work hard probably got me going. But what about, I mean, the talent, I mean, as I, you know, Shah Rukh Khan <laughs> says you're one of the finest actors in the industry. Rakesh Roshan says the same well, thing. Yeah. So why do you, why are you so modest? <laughs> it's not modesty, it's, it's well, I have, I have had my uh, good moments, and I've had my bad moments, and they're very kind, thank you very much, whatever they've said. Are you, sound, are you feeling a bit low about something, about No, I'm work? not low about anything, but I, I don't think it's, uh, you know, uh, to, there's nothing to trumpet about what I've done. I don't think I've done any great work when you think. Why no, do you say you've not done any I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know if I ever did uh, <clears throat> justice to what I could do. I don't know. Never probably got it or maybe I got it, didn't do it. I mean, so many people think that you're a wonderful actor. How do you feel about it? Well, I'd be a hypocrite if I said that I was a bad actor, but I'd definitely not say that I'm a very good actor. I'm all right. I can... <clears throat> I, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. 
But have you passed on any of your wackiness to your son? <laughs> he's crazy. He's, 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 he's the best. He's very really crazy. He's crazy. Like how? Well, uh, like he's like that wacky when I was. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. Mom, I mean, is your relationship with him the same as Raj, Raji's relationship was with you when you were growing up? Well, very normal uh, uh, growing up. And I'm sure my son is also having the same kind of... Uh, but you, you, I remember, you used to be a little scared of Raji. Petrified, not scared. I think it's a very mild word which you're using. But, why uh, were you petrified of him? Maybe I was an orphan of his persona, or maybe... Your son's not um, an of you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> does he talk to you about, I mean, does he confide in you and all that? He hasn't told me about his girlfriend. Let me put it this way. Did you tell your father about your girlfriend? He was joking. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> I guess the age, you know, I, maybe, but the, those days, I didn't have a girlfriend. I was so huge. I was... Uh, <laughs> nobody ever made friends with me. There was no girlfriend by you, that you, time. But you were such a romantic. Well, yes, I guess what does size got to do with romance? That's huh? true. <laughs> what do they think of you as an actor, your kids? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure they must be proud as a, as a father, but uh, I don't think they've ever told me that you do, did good work or you did great work. They None. never do. <laughs> I don't think so. And well, I've never done it, so you know, I mean, I don't blame them. They don't have an opportunity to say it. But uh, who, is your wife a critic of yours? Yeah, she's only a critic. She's only criticized us. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Uh, she's very, very low on the compliments. <laughs> uh, I can't remember now when. When was last. the last compliment? <laughs> Meanwhile, let's wait for Chimpu. Looking forward to seeing him today. Yeah, really. Chimpu, thank you so much for coming. It's really sweet of you. It's very kind of you to have. I was just catching up with Chintu after so many years. Does he, he still bullies you, doesn't he, like he used to? No, he used to do it. Uh, a little earlier, now he does it a little bit too much. <laughs> now it's increased, has it? <laughs> but tell me, in your family, is there a hierarchy of bullying? I mean, Dabu bullying Chintu, Chintu bullying Chimpu, Chimpu bullying the dog. <laughs> Who do you bully? Well, I think it's our basic, that's the way we express our love and affection to each other. So how is it like, uh, how is it directing Chintu? I mean, he's very headstrong, I know. Yes, he is headstrong and uh, he should do a little bit Think of that. before you say anything wrong. Uh, a little <laughs> less. You know, and, uh, and maybe he was being a little more, as because not only as a director, but I was his brother exactly. on the set. So if things of that kind didn't happen, the unit would laugh. You know, okay, wait, something's going wrong. Why are they not arguing or talking to each other? But tell me, as, as the youngest in the house, were you spoiled or were you neglected? No, I was never neglected. Uh, I was loved and cared. I wasn't spoiled. I wouldn't say I was spoiled, but spoiled, but uh, I was definitely pushed around like a football. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, being the youngest one, I had to go through. You have a football, you'll be kicked around here. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you know, the pushing? Who did most everybody, of it? Everybody. You know, because when you're the youngest, you got to <laughs> listen to everybody, and you got to listen to all the things, and blames keep on going to each other. Ultimately, lands up on the youngest one. So mm -hmm. I used to, you know, so so I presume my shock ups was so good today because of all this, you know. <laughs> but was there ever any sibling rivalry between you guys, three of you? No. Never. No. How come? Rivalry for what? <clears throat> You're all in the same in the same industry, same careers as such. Not really. We have never had anything. Well, never thought of it also. But perhaps it's uh, it's the love and affection that they are bringing of our parents. But I feel you have put in more of a struggle than your brothers. You see, I always wanted to be a director. To be honest with you, I became an actor by chance because I was the last son of you know, Raj Kapoor. And of course, I did not work in my first film with him. I did work outside. I worked with, with, you know, with Betsy Mera and his son. Mm. My father wanted me to do that. Mm. He said that he wanted me to do the same thing like he did. Why don't you go out and do and fend for yourself? Why do you want Raj Kapoor to come and give you everything on a platter? But ultimately, it did happen that today, if I was recognized, mm. I was recognized because of Ram Tiri Ameli. That's right. Because that was the only successful mm. film I had. But there is, I mean, so soon after that, you started your own film as a director. There was no Raj Kapoor to guide you or to, you know, in, in, in that sense. I think it has to its credit. Mm. Because they, but I will definitely say one thing that the biggest support and the biggest encouragement I got was definitely from, not because he's sitting here or mm. Randir is not here for my brothers. Mm. Because they, they gave me everything I wanted. They left no stone unturned. Hmm. Perhaps they gave me maybe, maybe one step more than even my father would have given. What I find special about the Kapoor's, I'll tell you, I mean, apart from the Rishta that we have, there is something that makes you guys stand apart, and I'm going to say this very frankly. The kind of courtesy that you both, that you three have, is, is unique. There's no, I don't know anybody else in the film industry or outside it who has that. Uh, for example, I know that even Kashwan Singh was saying about you, he was traveling with you, and you went up and introduced yourself to him. And then when he was uh, disembarking from the plane, 
Chintu said, can I carry your bag, sir? And he was so happy that he did that. He said, mm -hmm. not only from here, he said, please carry my bags outside the airport so that everybody can see Rishi Kapoor carrying my bags. Yeah. And you did that. I wondered what, what element was in your upbringing that accounted for it. Who was it that, that taught you all this or made you be like this? I taught him. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Did the effect, uh, did the response of uh, Prem Granth affect you? I definitely felt bad because, you know, when mm. you put in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, a lot of, uh, you know. It's disappointing. It disappoints you when the, uh, when the whole thing just, you know, mm. bombs up. Mm. Shimpu, I also saw this film and I felt when I saw it that there was Raj Kapoor behind every frame in a sense, if you know what I mean. And I know this must be his influence, you're having been his assistant. I asked you if you were not Raj Kapoor's son and you were just a filmmaker on your own, what would the stamp of Rajiv Kapoor be? Uh, it's very early for me to say that, Simi, because you see, I, I learned under him. So whatever I learned, whatever I, whatever I observed, whatever I saw, I try to put in the same thoughts, the same mm -hmm. kind of craftsmanship into it. But that's the Raj, Raj right. Kapoor stamp. So it takes, it'll give me, I mean, you see, I, ne I need another opportunity because I have to update myself in today's times. I've got mm -hmm. to do something on my own. But perhaps I don't feel bad about it because mm. if, if I'm doing something like that, it's because I've learned from one of the greatest showmen and the greatest institutions in this country. You guys live separately. I mean, everybody has their own homes and all that. But do you keep in touch very often? Yes, sure. Do you tell uh, uh, Chintu things? I mean, would you talk to him about your girlfriend problems? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk to anybody <laughs> about it. <laughs> I think one should fight one's own battle. No what battle? Do you have a battle with your girlfriend? Most of the time. You're supposed to be in love, not in war. That's the problem. I have not known as what love is as, as, as yet because one needs a you know, proper girlfriend and one needs a girlfriend but for certain had, things. But you've had, have had girlfriends too. Yes, I've had friends. Girlfriends? Uh, yeah, they're girls, you know. Oh, who come friends, on. Who are friends. I, I, I rate girlfriends as friends. No, but you've had, I mean, girlfriend in the proper mm. sense of Girlfriends, the word. okay, yeah. Yes, of course, I have lots of them. I know them, know lots of people and... Uh, but no, I, I, I am basically a person who tries to solve my own problems. Do you feel you're ready for marriage? Now, yes, I think so, yeah. Because before I miss the bus. The horse, not the bus. <laughs> the horse? Or the horse. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yet, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, marriage is a made in heaven, like you know, and broken on earth. That marriage is a made in heaven, but the payments have got to be made on earth. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> like I said, payments and broken on earth. So when and when, when and whenever somebody does come, I, I do look forward to settle down. With. But how can you settle down very soon when you haven't found anybody? Maybe you just come across somebody one day, you introduce to but somebody. Sassy. Why you put well, in that's, that's what happens. They <laughs> oh, say Chak Mangni and Pat Bihar. So, you know, maybe something like that happens if one day. If you had you know? to put an ad for him, what would you put in the ad? <laughs> Wanted. <laughs> Wanted what? And I hope not with a photograph of mine. Perhaps <laughs> maybe one would just turn the page off, you know. But Kya Likh Khoge, what would you want from, from uh, what would you say in the ad? Want? Every young son, every young kid has this, you know, ambition to have a wife like his own mother, and, you know, like yeah. his own, somebody who will care for me, who will look after me, who will be a part of my life, whether in good times or bad times. Will you look me. after her also? Sure, of course, I'm sure. But I would like, like her to look after me more than I can look after her because she knows I'm going to look after her. What do you mean because she knows I'm going to look after her. Why? It's not that... You don't know she don't look after you? Well, one, you know, no, I'm talking about a selfish <laughs> attitude, actually, actually, to be honest. And I want a girl who wants to marry me as what I am. Hmm as me, as Rajiv Kapoor, Chimpu, mm. not because I'm Raj Kapoor's son or Randhir and Rishi's brother, mm. someone who loves me for what I am, yeah. good, bad, indifferent, thin, fat, whatever, you know. Thin to nahi. But you never know, maybe, you know, you never know when and what. I think you should cut his crap and get married, you know. Would you find him a wife? No, 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 I think, I think we should leave it for me to do it. Now I'm going to ask you some quick fire questions. Who should be cloned? I truly believe that, you know, one should not tamper with nature. I don't think, you know, we should do what one doesn't really is required. Who should definitely not be cloned? I mean, I don't say that. <laughs> Actually, he means right because you know I am the only original piece in this earth. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm cloned, the originality goes away. Okay. What's your greatest fear? My fear is uh, flying. Flying? I'm petrified of flying. Him. You fear him? <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you name me the three most irresistible women? I think he should. He's not married. I'm married. How can I, how can I tell you? You can still answer it. Ah. I think, uh, um, what's her name? Salma Hayek. She's, she's good. Um, she's good. Um, Cindy Crawford is also no. pretty good. Huh? I was going to say that as well. No, I don't think I need a third one. You, 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 you take that. Well, I like Urmila Matongar. I think she's very nice. Okay. Yeah. Mother Teresa. 
She's nice as well, you know. She's an irresistible woman. Yeah, I mean that way, you know. Yeah. That I, listen, I'm not asking you. To no, no, I mean in a different way because, you know, when you know of somebody, you have something. Yeah, we have good respect for her. I have good respect. Aishwara, right? Hmm, okay. That's what you have to ask. Hi. Dandi. She's too. You're awful. Just I don't know how you take it. Anyway, what makes you cry? Him. What do you dislike most about your appearance? What when I see in the mirror? <laughs> the mirror. What do you dislike most about your appearance? Because every time they keep telling me either you're Rishi Kapoor's brother because I look like him, either you're Shami Kapoor's brother. I beg your brother. pardon. Yeah, I know. I, you should feel great about it actually. <laughs> oh, you're, you're Shami Kapoor's <laughs> nephew because you look like him. Yeah, that's a common so it, it, uh, you know, it makes me feel funny. Nobody says, you know, you look like yourself. Who's your favorite Indian cricketer? <clears throat> Not two things to do. Definitely Tendulkar. Okay, um, sexiest Indian actress. Don't get beaten by anybody. Yeah? So it's better be careful. Mm. By thinking this much itself answers the question. Again? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some ratings on a scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate yourself as an actor? 1 to 10. Mm. <clears throat> Four, five. Oh, come on, Shin. Six. How do you rate him as an actor? Very good. So, someone's here. Number, though, number, though. Number no, honestly, I would definitely rate him somewhere near eight. Why not more than that? <laughs> Why should I give more than that? But definitely eight, because I rate him as one of the one of the fine one of the finest actor. Ah. India has. Not because he's my brother. Brother. The brother not because eight. he's my brother. No, 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 no. Not because he's my brother. Okay. How do you rate him as a director? <laughs> think. Think. <laughs> He works hard, he knows his mind, he knows his job. Numbers, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Between 1 and 10. Um, I'll give him at this point of time because he's only made one film. 6, 7. Aye, that's me. He gave you an 8 for being an actor. Yeah, well, that's too bad, yeah. <laughs> he knows what I'm worth. That's right. <laughs> but, you know, one film cannot be, I cannot really... Uh, um, he worked very hard and it's to his credit that uh, I shouldn't be saying in front of him but nonetheless he knows his mind, he knows his job mm -hmm. and that's what's important for a director. Success is a very, uh, uh, it's a very temporary thing. It, sooner or later you meet it at some point of time. What about you? How much do you give yourself? One? Minus one? Uh, no, James. No, 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 no. I won't give myself more than one because I've got lots to do more. If I say something more than that then perhaps, you know, it will be very wrong of me. How would you rate your looks? Very average. Yeah. But oh, now, not figure. Oh, uh, you are embarrassing me on this. But you have to give it to me. You have it's to. Quite do embarrassing. It. You have to do it. Lelo, char paaj point lelo ya. Lene ki baat. What about you? How much first would you no, give? I, I would not say char paaj. I would definitely say much more than that. You know, because. Uh, That's for yourself uh, or him? No, no, for both. Because the only thing is, God has put me in the same. No, 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 no. Because you know, the God has been kind. That our parents have given us very good appearances and good looks. <laughs> Unfortunately, not good figures, you know. That's the problem. The physiques and the figures are wrong. So it's very difficult to answer I'm the a, question, you know. I'm a big guard. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask the next one physical fitness. <laughs> <laughs> the appearance. Need we say more? <laughs> appearance speaks for itself, you know. <laughs> so that, you have that. to give me points. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we have minus okay, ratings on no, physical no, 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 appearance? No, no, no. No, I would say okay, if you're talking about if you're talking about <laughs> if you have expressions, uh, no, minus think, ratings in physical no, appearance. Appearance-wise, I would say five, six. <laughs> you want me to? You want okay. me to answer this question? <laughs> so I'll say ten because more the numbers, the more the weight. <laughs> Got to stop laughing. Oh. Uh, what was the point? What was the final result? Are we only thinking this minus? <laughs> Okay, you said minus. What did you say? I said ten because the healthier you are, the more the numbers. How would you rate the luck luck factor? Eight. You, mm. chimps. Mm -hmm. Five, six. How would you rate yourself as a husband? Good. No, I'm not asking for good, better, best. Yeah. Uh, how do you I'm asking numbers. for numbers. I think ten plus. <laughs> what about your IQ? How would you rate your IQ? I can tell about it. About it if you want me to. You want me to answer this question? <laughs> you want to answer for each other. We can answer for each other, you know. <laughs> okay, come on. Well, 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 <laughs> we leave it till there. What about your sex appeal? How do you rate that? <laughs> to me, you're embarrassing me now. But you have to rate it. Oh, well, I don't know if I have any sex appeal. What do you feel about that? 
Uh, you, can, you cannot <laughs> ask a question to me. Me? Well, I mean, I, 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 with clothes or without clothes? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I think you should go and ask my women about all the women about that, not me. But if I, I'm sure, I'll rate myself nothing less than uh, five, six, seven. But I'm sure they'll rate more mm -hmm. than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm being modest about this. They may give me ten or nine, but I'll say <laughs> five, six, seven. You know, so. Maybe. I really love you both. You're very, very special. Thank you, and Thank I you. cherish our friendship. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless again. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Simi. Thanks very much. Thank you, so much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Cut. You pulled it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Thank you to everybody who are voting. You speak so much. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. Right? This is good or bad? That's the way you say it. 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 I should not be near, I should be upstairs. You have to do it. 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 You have